Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining today. And we are super happy to be here in the QCon again, Salt Lake City. And Marcio and I, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, introducing a new uh, CNCF uh, working group for application development. So here's just some uh, URL. We're going to keep showing that. Uh, you're going to just uh, uh, jo join our working group if you are interested. So my name is Daniel O. I'm working from Red Hat and CNCF Amber. And best of all, we are both are actually ambassador, and I'm also a developer advocate and Java champion to uh, bring more Java application into cloud world. Here's my colleague. So I'm Mauricio Salatino. I'm a software engineer for Diagrid. And I'm, we are both serving here as like application development working group co-chairs with Thomas Vitale, who didn't manage to make it here, and an amazing group of enthusiasts that are very interested in participating in application development initiatives. So before we continue this presentation, we have this QR code. And we ask if you are a developer in the audience, please scan this QR code and help us to fill this survey. Uh, if you are not a developer, please take a screenshot of this and uh, share it with your developers at your company because it's really important for the working group to start collecting hard data about what people in the cloud native space is doing with some of the projects uh, that we are looking into and trying to uh, help to get closer to developers. Yeah, awesome. So. We're going to bring this up QR code at the end of the lightning talk. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, just to make sure you're going to scan it and then maybe give it a try. There are like a 19 question, yeah. uh, multiple choices based on that. And then it will be very helpful for us to understand, identify like some creative projects. So, so why we create a new application development uh, working group mm -hmm. under the, the tag application delivery? Because a lot of uh, projects, CNCF project tools is pretty much focusing on infrastructure. So a lot of developers actually concern and then challenge, how do we use that? How to bring our application into cloud? So how to build, how to containerize, how to testing. So not only in order to process, but also they need to extend their capability into the cloud. That's why we are creating this new working group. So main goal of this working group, we're going to empower the cloud native developer, just like you guys, and also architect to identify and promoting and the more common best practices and then which CNCF project and tool would be better and make it developer uh, life happier and easier. So if this resonates with you, definitely think about joining the working group. This is again, it's like a community working group that looks into these topics. So if you're in, if you're in that space or in the platform engineering space where you're trying to enable teams of developers, the discussions that are happening in this working group is, are for you, basically. Absolutely. So here is how we are some deliverables. Yeah. So we created the working group uh, like a year ago. Uh, actually, in KubeCon Chicago, we have the conversations of creating this working group. And we took, took us some time to basically bring the right people into the table for have the right discussions. And after some discussions, after six months, we actually came up with a, like a very broad definition of the things that developers are interested. And there are like different categories of tools and you know, practices and specifications that developers will use. Some of them are more well known. Some of them are not as well known. So the objective of this working group is to make sure that we are all aware of the tools that exist and the problems that these tools are solving. That's why we have different categories, right? Development environments, like do you have local development environments, remote development environments? Do you have something to configure these development environments or not? What about building an automation, right? Like you can package your application using your you know, programming language package, packaging you know, mechanisms, but also at some point, somebody needs to turn that into a container if you're running into Kubernetes. Testing and debugging is something that it's not much discussed here in these conferences because uh, we are talking about like just running applications but not how much about like how developers will test that these containers that we are creating are doing the things that they should be doing. And the same with, with code quality and standards, you know, linters, formatters, and all these things are much more closer to developers than infrastructure. Uh, and finally, cloud native development, development tools like SDKs, I always think about here about open telemetry, which is a specification that provides a bunch of different implementations using different SDKs in different programming languages. So we want to find out all the other tools that are in a similar space where they are polyglot, they are not for a single programming language, but just for all the languages that are available and that they promote well, uh, good cloud native best practices. Yeah. So that's exactly we uh, like identify mm -hmm. like a ten curate sandbox project, yep. which enables cloud native developers mm -hmm. uh, make it easier their their interoperable process and mm -hmm. the application just like a 
the bunch of the boxes see here. Yeah, so we wanted to basically look into the landscape and figure out which projects are targeting the developer persona, like directly. Like there is this project that it's basically aimed for developers. And then we wanted to fit these projects into different categories. Are like, are these tools working in the developer's working station? Are these like more related to how developers connect to re re remote environments? Or are these projects a little bit more related with CI pipelines and how do we run integration testing, for example? And for that, as, as Daniel mentioned, what we did is just we looked at the landscape, we filtered the landscape uh, on graduated and incubating projects for now because we wanted to start, like, let's say, small. And we looked into all these projects and filtered 10 projects that you will see in the survey that are closely related to developers or they are like at least providing some functionality as, like directly for developers. So we did that, we came up with the survey, so now we are trying to gather data about how much people knows about these projects uh, in order to define the next steps for the working group. For yeah, just to be clear, uh, you not see that right now today, yeah. mm -hmm. but this is on our roadmap. We're gonna talk a little bit about that later mm -hmm. this week. Something that the working group is not doing, and I think that this is also important to mention, for every working group inside the CNCF, it's important to have all the things listed that we are not going to do, right? So we are not here to create new standards for developers. That's definitely not uh, like one of the objectives. We don't want to tell developers how to do things. We want to look into how developers are building cloud native applications and coding uh, cloud native applications and help them, help them to be more efficient when they work with cloud native technologies. We are not creating a new CNCF project that's no, completely out of not. the scope. <laughs> and we are not promoting tools that are specific to a given programming language. We want to go really polyglot to help people again in the cloud native space, no matter the programming language that they are using. Yeah, we, we're not going to say, so we, we, here's a new tool. So we, we're not going to give you some, a new tool rather than like an existing 12 tool. So exactly. we're not going to make you 13 tools. So we're going to give us some more combined and then like mm -hmm. a, a associate a more of the like a fantastic, how do you make a better life for developer uh, internet processes. Exactly. So what's next, Daniel? So yeah, so we have a bunch of a plan as a, as a working group. So it's not only our working group, but also we uh, proactively working with the other working group under the tag, like a platform engineering and other groups. So we're gonna create a new white, white paper. It's a showcase and explain uh, some tools and how to use that, and we see use cases, and then what is definition and how to make it better in your life. And also, we're going to report and share all the survey metrics uh, in the CNCF uh, side, and which allows everybody can see that. Mm -hmm. If everybody wants to select new developer tools, this is maybe some not standard, but it's more recommend and recommendation for yeah. that. And then, as Mauricio said, so we're going to uh, update our uh, the CNCF landscape based on filtering, like a developer focusing on some of the application development stuff. And you can find uh, like at least 10, and then we're gonna uh, keep doing this kind of job uh, the, uh, until next week, and uh, next year. So that is a new app dev, uh, map, like a project mapping in the version two. And then we are also looking forward to like a case study and role show. Uh, like uh, maybe we can more than happy to uh, joining some local user group and the yeah. other stuff and yeah. share. And then we are more than happy to hear your idea and thought around the CNCF project as well. And I want to say one more thing. So probably you already submitted some of the talk and CNCF and KubeCon last year or even this year, you got some SDLC like a track, mm -hmm. which is a really bit awkward for application developer because the software like, like a cycle, which is not super familiar with the application developer. And then, so we have a great achievement so we have a brand new track in the next year, the QCon London, which is the application development. So this is our working group uh, achievement yep. to like, uh, promoting application development rather than like a generic software lifecycle development stuff. Yeah, so we hope that 2025 will be a year where we will see much more like developers, you know, opinions expressed in these kind of conferences because we will have a full track in the event. And that will come, of course, to the US uh, next year as well. And uh, again, like the idea here of the survey that we were showing before is to gather data that will be available to everyone. So if you are working on developer tools or if you are working with development tools, you can see what other companies are doing as well. Yeah, which means that this is the last app developer call as yeah. a call event, exactly. like an incendiary event. So once again, just to keep it short, uh, we wanted to share this QR code. Like if you didn't scan this yet, please do scan it and share it with your application developers. Uh, if you can just share it as much as you can, you will be making kind of like a huge impact in the working group, but also in the CNCF landscape, because again, we will use all that data to improve 
the tools that uh, yeah. are exposed to the And then there's also the tech, uh, the working group leaders panel discussion Thursday afternoon. And so, then you can more than welcome to join and ask mm -hmm. any question around the uh, CNCF working group stuff. Perfect. I think that with that, yeah, we'll all right. And thank you so much for joining. And then we're going to walk around the scale around the radio today. Yeah. And please ask any question, happy to address. If you want to join the working group, reach out. Uh, we will be more than happy to, to have you there. Thank, thank you so you much. So much. Thank you.